class is a hands-on experiential learning class where students uh, are learning for themselves how to produce maple syrup, grow gourmet mushrooms, keep bees, and uh, work as environmental consultants for various firms uh, or local uh, municipalities. And uh, they do this by running a business that we call South of Forest Products. We meet once a week and we get in a big circle and we all give each other updates on um, the different stuff that we've been doing and things that we've accomplished and then we go over things that we need to accomplish and uh, people volunteer for doing that. Um, a lot of things we have shifts for and we sign up for shifts because a lot of things are very time consuming. It takes a lot of care because it's kind of like a garden that's growing really, really fast uh, because that's ex essentially what it is. You're growing food. Um, so they, it all gets sold, um, we can dry the mushrooms and you can just rehydrate them. Um, it just takes a lot of care um, and a lot of paying attention to you because this is kind of a fairly new project. Um, so all the, the temperature control isn't perfect right now. The, if we're going to have a rotating system, it's not perfect right now. So it's, it just takes time. and kind of a consistent person for a little while? Uh, making maple syrup is uh, fairly straightforward. We tap the trees uh, about the first week in February. Uh, it was as soon as we get uh, freezing temperatures at night and then thawing temperatures around 35, 40 degrees uh, during the day. Uh, that's when we know the sap is going to be running. Uh, so we tap the trees back in February. Once we've got about 100 or 120 gallons, we will do our boil. We sell our maple syrup and our mushrooms out of uh, Jason Hamilton's lab, CNS 282. Uh, and maple syrup we also sell out of the bookstore. Well, I think one of the best things about this class is how practical it is and how hands-on it is. Um, also, how much responsibility is put into the students' hands. Um, it kind of feels good, I think, especially as a senior where we have responsibilities um, that we have to take care of throughout the week. And we only meet once a week for class, but there's a ton of stuff to do and a ton of hours to put in.